Aries, your house is chocked full of visitors this week. And it's a very powerful combination. So let's get into it. Aries, this is your week ahead tarot card reading and astrology summary from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Welcome back to all of you who are returning. God bless you and thank you for your support of the channel. Remember that we can meet live and in person now on May 13th in Austin, Texas. I'm having my first ever meet and greet to celebrate the 100K milestone we reached. So please come join me. I will attach the links above. They're also attached to the channel's main page. You can find them on my website. Tickets for the virtual experience or the in-person experience. So I hope to see you there. I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation, just so that you all know. Um, you can talk to me live, live chat Monday through Friday on Astrology Motivation. I do a general tarot card reading, and I hope to have you, I hope to have you there. Um, there's always an extended reading, so please check below in the description box. I'll pin it to the top of the comment section. I'll also attach it to the end of this video, so you can click right on it and get right to it and join me for that extended. Let's get into the astrology. This is first and foremost foremost an energy reading so it is for Aries Sun Moon and rising sign so you apply it to how it resonates in your life um, sometimes you might want to check out your moon sign reading and your uh, rising sign reading because a lot of times that resonates a lot more with you let's get into the astrology we're gonna cover the astrology first to give some context to the cards that I have in front of me um, Right now, as I'm filming, the Moon, Venus, Chiron, and Jupiter, which has been there for a while, are all in Aries. That means Aries has an official stellium in it, and it will today as well. Um, excuse me. The Moon will move on, but you will still have Venus and Jupiter and Chiron. Now, Jupiter and Chiron have been there, and they are definitely impacting Aries too, so Aries second decans. That means if you are born about mid Aries season if your natal sun is between 10 and 20 degrees Aries this conjunction between Jupiter and Chiron has really been setting the framework for what you're experiencing in life now hopefully growing and being inspired to develop beyond or develop from pain and suffering that you've been through to learn from it to understand it and actually take advantage of the situation and grow from it now others of you have been suffering a lot more because instead of using this energy to help you grow you have been sitting in the suffering and pain and it's the suffering and pain that has been growing so what I would then suggest to you guys is as hard as you can ground yourself and help yourself objectively start to look at the situation and start to ask yourself every day what am I learning from this experience what are the lessons that you're trying to teach me universe because through this these experiences and as hard as it's going to be the answers will start to come to you now for those of you who are Aries twos your current Sun is going is sextile to where Mars is currently so Mars is currently in Gemini and it is sextile to the natal suns of the mid Aries, the Aries 2. That will bring you more energy and that will bring you more courage and chutzpah and tenacity to get after it. It means you're being helped, you're being assisted so that there is there are there's there's energy for you to develop and heal from these experiences um, as opposed to be toppled by them and I think for most of you it's a real beautiful growing period very powerful very strong cathartic period to help turn pain into success um, Aries 1 your current your natal Sun is currently conjunct to Venus because Venus just entered so for the beginning of this week Venus will be conjunct to air the natal Suns of Aries 1 but then later on in the week, she will be absolutely sitting right in the middle of the Jupiter Chiron conjunction. And for Aries too, that already have so much going on, your natal sun will also be conjunct Venus. So it'll be conjunct Venus, conjunct Jupiter, conjunct Chiron. That's a lot of energy and it'll bring in extra caveats of your romantic aspects, how you're valued, how you feel value, what you value, um, how people value you, as well as your sex drive. Um, it, and it, with Venus 
sextile to Jupiter, it's going to really kind of take it to the next level. So there could be a great deal of luck and abundance that comes, especially between, I would say, Monday to Thursday of next week, um, toward the end of the week. It will... Um, I don't know it's great it's great energy especially since your natal sun will also still be sextile to current mars this is a fantastic time to for leaps forward to happen in finance and your romantic relationships um yeah not romantic relationship huge leaps forward in how you're valued let's just put it that way or what you want or what you desire and making it work for you um aries threes Today, the moon is conjunct your natal sun. So that could mean a little bit more moodiness or just a little bit more feeling. I think it's more feeling whole when the sun, when the moon is conjunct your natal sun. Um, there is just a sense of more understanding, more tenderness, more vulnerability, but not in a way that it's going to make you really like throw you off in any way. I think it's only going to last for a day and it, it might help put some perspective onto feelings. Um, let's talk about Mars. Mars is sextile to, I'm sorry, Mars is trying to Mercury, um, up through the weekend. And then by Monday, that trine is going to end. Now Mars trine, Mercury should help you all have clarity or feel really clever, like be able to think clearly and speak clearly. Um, and then Monday, Mars is going to square up Neptune, and that's going to last through the end of March. And that square to Neptune, even though it's not going to directly impact you, well, it will directly impact those that are sextile to current Mars, right? But there is a sense of low energy. But this could be somebody outside of you. So you could be dealing with people that have low energy and feel vulnerable. Um, this, this, this transit lasts a while and could easily kind of compromise the way you do things or the way you hear things making you sort of take things a little bit more sensitively and more seriously than they should be so you might just want to pause and take a breather and just look over things and take a take a few more seconds to make decisions than you normally would let's get into the cards now the cards as they sit in front of me first thing that came out what does that mean to you as soon as you see it maybe write it below I'd love to hear your comments so please do comment below but honestly Aries this is about a sudden change that you have no control over it's happening now it's current it's it's not in the past so it's a sudden change that you have no no control over and so it's sort of just like you know whipping your hands in the air as you go down a roller coaster you know it, it that's kind of how it is it could also mean that something that was in your way all of a sudden falls apart so let's flip over the other cards and see first we have the high priestess so there is something that is tumbling down or being destroyed or over with that you knew knew was going to happen so intuitively like check your intuition those feelings inside of you there was it was just something here there was some sort of suspicion it was it's definitely a change and it's definitely something destructive it doesn't have to affect you destructively but let let's we'll get more, we'll get deeper into it there's some sort of stealing or cheating going on that you intuitively understood or knew about somebody is taking from you somebody did something underhanded now i don't want it, i don't want this to like be a red flag and cuz because it came out with the high priestess you already knew this was happening you already knew it i think now there's just confirmation especially in relationships between lovers something about maybe maybe a sense of of um now okay i'm gonna interpret it one of two ways i'm gonna i'm gonna interpret it in two ways so let's show you the cards either a relationship is all of a sudden going to hit you out of the clear blue and just sideswipe you and it's nothing bad that's happening it just makes you feel like somebody pulled the rug out from underneath you because it was the least perfect time that it could ever happen but holy crap here they are and you just can't resist the temptation or you can't resist them 
or you intuitively now know that somebody has been cheating and has been sneaking and a relationship that you've been trying to hold on to by the skin of your teeth is completely and totally done because it sort of decimates you but at the same time since in some ways you already knew um it just allows you to let it let it end let it finish so somebody is definitely creeping let's put it that way okay and if you were looking for signs and you're listening to this video here is your sign now the reason i know and i don't feel like oh my god i'm so sorry aries i'm sorry this is happening to you look what card comes out next so something tells me what's telling what this is telling me is that this end based on this betrayal actually somehow works out really good for you it makes it it, it makes you succeed somehow. So either you really needed this break and you've been holding on to this relationship for too long anyway, or it's a breakup that happens outside of you that suddenly benefits you somehow. I, I don't know how it could benefit you. We'll get deeper into that. But it could be it just frees up somebody or um, makes it very clear who somebody is so that you you can move on and and not have to worry about the situation anymore or that now maybe they're free and available so you guys can be together if you were the one that they were creeping with let's just say let's just say that um we have the queen of wands so this is somebody who's irresistible and extremely attractive and this is usually you so it could be you that um <coughs> Somebody was creeping with, irresistible, connection, unable to, you can't, you can't resist each other. This sense of you will come out on top, absolutely, and people will not be able to keep their eyes off of you. I want to, okay, um, let me get this more clearly. The thing is, no, this is two of cups, so you are definitely getting together with somebody, or you're definitely partnering with somebody, or you're kind of really shocked, shocked. No, 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 no. You're shocked by disappointment. You're shocked because you've been so disappointed in the past. You're shocked because of how maybe they treated you, or maybe you're shocked that they're shocked after they treated you this way leave the comments below because i'd like to know how this is how this is turning out for you guys let's let's get some details clarify for me please this seven of seven of swords who's cheating is it aries that are cheating it's 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 the knight of wands it's the knight of wands so maybe there's some disappointment about past cheating because it finally comes out and you have to address it or there's some disappointment or some shocking news that comes from cheating in the past get those std tests i'm just letting you know maybe somebody has to, it has something to do with somebody being randy dandy right and this is also yes the fire sign a younger fire sign a behavior of impulsivity something that happened impulsively um, and now all of a sudden there's this big reveal that may be a little bit disappointing and may connect you or connect you with somebody that you never expected to be connected to like an unexpected pregnancy connecting you to um, maybe you now you have to get together with somebody or something like that like or it could be happening to somebody else. There's no pregnancy indicated here, so I don't wanna say that that's, it was just an example. It's like a, a twist of events, <laughs> uh, very twisted events. Um, so who, what is this seven? So it was the seven of swords. Seven of swords is clarified by the knight of wands. So it was you that was kind of sneaking or creeping or moonlighting somehow. Now, it doesn't mean it was in your relationship. It could have been with your job, with your work, going out there to see other kinds of jobs. So um, even though there it, there's some disappointment here, hold on, what is this five? Clarify the five of cups. It was a reaction to being disappointed or being made made. It's almost like you reacted to somebody disrespecting you. And now, what's coming from it? It's saying stand your ground, take the high ground. So be honest, be open, be truthful. Um, do the right thing, even though it is a little bit, 
it's, it's about doing the right thing, even though you're a little bit disappointed about the way that things worked out. But this tower is here and it's saying that it, it may be disappointing to you, but ultimately you knew about it. It was a, it, I already said that it, it was a past disappointment. I think you did everything you could to try to make the situation work and that you actually look, you come out looking really good and that the ending of this is more of a victory than it is anything else because you I don't know it's it's like it's what was meant for you okay let's get a few more details please as to what that means because right now we're being really obscure abstract not obscure <sighs> what does it mean I think you're still trying to fight for a situation because you still love something is it going to work out? Is it going to work out? It is. There's some kind of wealth and abundance that's coming through here. We have the King of Cups. That means your heart is full and you're secure about the decision that you made. Um, really happy decision, especially when it comes with a lot of profit. A lot of profit coming into you could have to do with somebody helping you out. A father figure or mother figure or somebody older or I don't know it's it's a king of cups so this would be a masculine and mature water sign um, that is cancer Scorpio Pisces somebody who's very giving very understanding very caring um, I think it comes just at the right time this opportunity since everything seems so messy and chaotic and dramatic in your life to definitely take this opportunity because it does it is very valuable and it, it leads to a, a great deal of value okay what should Aries do about this oh yeah yeah in the midst of defeat in the midst of something really disappointing that has happened to you which could have been this crazy love situation um, we have a beautiful opportunity a, like a golden goose just offered like something it's saying something beautiful, absolutely God-given blessing is coming out of this defeat, which is which is absolutely in line with Jupiter conjunct Chiron. And then throw Venus in there. That's when this is going to happen. This is going to happen between Monday and Thursday of next week. Like this, that's when the Venus actually finally conjuncts to Jupiter. And that's when it really starts to... You know, like you guys have been dealing, Aries has been dealing with Jupiter conjunct Chiron for a while because it's in Aries' house. But Venus adds a whole new tussle to this and she comes and goes. But it's going, but what it says is the extra energy is going to really make things off the hook crazy. And what, what comes from this ridiculous and stupid situation or this situation where everything was falling apart is like the golden goose, this special opportunity, this beautiful gem. Yeah, can we get a little bit of insight into what that is? Um, Knight of Pentacles, so it could be a job offer or an opportunity. Um, yeah, you know, it could it could kick you into high gear and make you more determined because something else didn't work. The energy is what the universe wanted to generate for you. And you take that energy and you apply it to your work or, yeah, some, yeah. And employment comes from it. Employment or just sort of, progress it also indicates it's something that you'll want to take extra special care of it's very precious okay okay let's get into the details let's pull a moon card just to see where we're at shall we let's pull a moon card aries aries hold your vision so don't give up on this is the thing something had really distracted you from your trajectory and this is getting you put you putting you back on trajectory and if i know anything about aries aries you deal with heartache by getting your ass back to work you use it as rocket fuel and this rocket fuel is going to be some supernova rocket fuel and it's going to put you back and make you even more focused more focused than you've ever been before on your vision because i don't think it's like if something disappointed you you're not going to handle or take any more disappointments so it's supercharging you skyrocketing you into like legitimately this fantastic thing okay let's get more information on this fantastic offer I think it has something to do with work. Seven of Pentacles. It's something to do with where you have failed before or where you hadn't seen much progress before. 
because seven of pentacles indicates you you couldn't figure something out before but now but now not only do you figure it out you rocket fuel your butt there let's go to the extended guys i'll see you there